Hello everyone. Today's topic is asymmetric synthesis. In this asymmetric synthesis, uh, please go and watch the before videos before coming to this uh, video. So uh, moving on to here, we are speaking about the enantioselective synthesis. In this, we will be dealing with certain reactions like chiraphos, S, S, uh, B, M, M, G, C, L like that and so on. So moving on to enantioselective reactions. So here, what happens in this enantioselective synthesis is, is it is, is there are some cr criteria over here. Okay, so it should fulfill this criteria to have the enantioselective synthesis. Uh, when it should have the good uh, symmetric synthons okay so the reagent or the chiral uh, auxiliary which will be there that should be of high optical purity and it should be easily available okay and the product must be easily separable well, with the reaction mixture the chirality or the reagent which will be there here that should be in such a way that it has to desire the enantiomeric excess so here the meaning is that enantiomeric excess should be there to move on to that enantioselective reactions here enantioselective enantiomeric excess plays a major important role okay and then in here in energy selectivity must be of high practical applicability so that uh, you have to keep that into picture like whether it has the uh, 92 percentage or 82 percentage or 84 like that depending upon that only your major product will be determined and that reaction will be in the favored condition and that you will uh, apply over there and then moving on to next point it is the configuration okay or the prepondment enantiomer if it if you are uh, doing some reaction or the mechanism um, so what happens you have to know which configuration it is whether it is an s configuration or r configuration depending upon that configuration you will tell which is your major product and minor product that is predicted by the s or, or r configuration or else which phase it is going whether it is an r re phase or c phase re phase is always a clockwise direction c phase is an anti clockwise direction i have said you in the earlier video also so moving on to next it is the reduction with the chiral hydride donors okay so we are taking some reagents and we are showing how the hydride will act as a donor over here and then moving on to first reagent that is your s b mm, PV MGCL. Okay, so uh, in the next slide, I'll show you. So here. S will refer to the S configuration, okay, no doubt in that. And then P P B M G C L is for phenyl butyl magnesium chloride. So here what happens? The sterically hindered Grignard reagent. We are using the sterically hindered Grignard reagent, and okay, instead of and un it under it is not undergoing the nucleophilic addition reaction. Rather than that, we are using the Grignard reagent for this process, okay, or the addition of that. Uh, and the transfer of the beta hydrogen to the carbonyl compound okay and it uh, follows the chirality can be uh, induced over there to give you the e alcohol all, uh, as your products so moving on to here you are taking the isopropyl phenyl ketone okay isopropyl phenyl ketone and then you are treating it with the grignard reagent phenyl substituted the grignard reagent and uh, so here what happens it is hysterically hindered Grignard reagent, you can say. And then in the first step, it has the formation of a transition state. What happens here is this CH2 minus is there and then Mg plus. This lone wear of electron and there is a formation of one complex, one transition state between the O and Mg. Okay. And then Cl will cleave out. And then what happens? This will generate you as the one of the transition state one. Okay. And then after once it is formed, um, at that time what happens? This there is an hydride shift which we said it as an earlier hydride reduction of an 
in a reduction of the hydride donors so hydride gets shifted over here and then there is a, a cleavage of this bond this bond shifts make it as a negative charge o minus and then there is an abstraction of the proton resulting you in the major product 82 percentage of this product is your major product and then moving on to here in the next there is one more possibility so here what happens the transition state is taking place is here the phenyl group is in the front side whereas isopropyl group is in the back but here what happens phenyl group is in the back and isopropyl is in front okay so here when it carries towards this side we are this side it if the hydride shift goes and then an o minus that is your transition state too that will result you in the minor product okay so this is your uh, 82 percentage of your major product will result and then moving on to next slide so here what happens this you are studying that is your um, minus uh, boalcl2 that is your bornyl oxy aluminium dichloride bornyl oxy aluminium dichloride so here what happens it is the modified reaction of mpv that is your mirvin pondoff reaction and so that will reduce the carbonyl uh, groups to the alcoholic groups okay here you have to see the um, whether it is uh, facing towards the axial side or an, an equatorial side okay and you have to see the re phase or c phase it is going and attacking so here the hydride gets shifted toward uh, the hydride goes and attacks to the carbonyl compound on this uh, it will form one complex first transition state gets formed which is unfavored if you are following the system and after that what happens here is is this hydride goes and attack to the a carbonyl carbon and then there is a shifting of this bond resulting you in the O minus you will get back your an alcohol product in the equatorial position if the alcohol is present that is your minor product okay and then moving on to next slide so if you will see here again you are taking the uh, uh, cyclohexanone tertiary butyl cyclohexanone and then you are treating it with this reagent okay and then that is your BOALCL2 and then what happens here is this is your favored reaction so the attack which is taking place towards this side and then this shifts first there is a formation of one transition state it and then you'll result in the major product that is you are having the enantiomeric excess of 92 percentage okay here this should be in the axial position like this okay sorry it has been a little bit twisted and then moving on to alpine borane it is also called as IPCBBN. Remember, alpine borane, which is your uh, chiral trialkyl borane. Okay, so this uh, this reagent is also known as IPCBBN. It is a reducing agent which can reduce the aliphatic, uh, aliphatic compounds, allylic compounds, and aromatic aldehydes and alpha beta unsaturated ketones. So what happens here is you can see this structure over here. Okay this is the structure of an alpine borane so moving on to next reaction first i will show you which is the uh, stable and then unstable bor uh, alpine borings so if you will see this is your uh, stable alpine borane which uh, wherein there is no methyl groups attached this is your unstable because you can see here if you you will do the interaction between this methyl methyl group is present okay which is your bulkier group okay so it is an unstable moiety and then moving on to reaction you are taking the ketones that is your acetophenone here you are taking and then you are reacting it with the alpine borane so what happens when it reacts with the alpine borane at that time you will result in two products one is your major one is your minor product one is your s and then one is your r, conf uh, r configuration product okay so moving on to next slide i will show you how the mechanism works in the mechanism part if you will see you are taking the alpine borane and you are treating it with the uh, acetophenone okay see the direction whether it is an r phase uh, re or c phase if it is re phase the stable uh, if it is re phase and you are taking the uh, you are taking the stable alpine borane itself in both the things and then if you are treating with the acetophenone 
See the reface how it works. It should be in the clockwise direction. The phenyl should face up and, and the methyl will place down. Okay. So what happens here when it attacks at that time? This hydride goes and attacks towards the carbonyl carbon of your acetophenone. Then there is the, uh, the cleavage of this bond. That is it will result you in the O, o minus and this whole moiety gets cleaved out. Okay. Uh, once this gets this will get cleaved out and then there is a shifting of one bond over here resulting you in this uh, product okay and then you will get this product okay that is your alcohol formation and then moving on to here if you will see there is a formation of an transition state unfavored this is your favored if you have to show you can show it in the transition state if you want to show you can show the aromatic like this okay formation of the transition state like this and then what happens same thing but the position differs here the ch3 faces towards the upside it is the c phase that is in it is uh, towards the counterclockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction okay so what happens there is a hydride attack over here the carbonyl uh, carbon uh, the carbon and the oxygen bond which is present over here shifts and then what happens there is a, a shifting of this bond with the cleavage of this moiety okay with the cleavage of this moiety you will uh, result in two adducts uh, two products one is this and then other is this okay and then here this attack is rare remember whenever there is a reface that is your major product okay and it is having the non-shumeric excess as your 83 percentage whenever there is the c phase is in case of the alpine borane it is the the attack will be rare and you will result in your minor product in the midland reaction uh, in the alpine borane you have to study the one of the reaction which is called as a midland reaction okay so here in the midland reaction it states that here you are taking one of the acetylene molecule okay acetylene moiety substituted acetylene moiety and then you are checking which is your favored and then unfavored and major and then minor products so if you will take and then if you will treat it with the alpine borane structure reagent so what happens there is a shift of the hydride okay and then the carbonyl uh, the bond between the carbon and oxygen this bond shifts and there is a cleavage uh, of uh, this moiety uh, this bond again shifts you will result in this okay so what happens here you are getting back this major product the alcohol uh, uh, the ketone moiety gets reduced to an alcohol substituted product moving on to next reaction this is a favored reaction okay and then if you will see here favored means it is under uh, it is taking place in the re phase not the c phase this is taking place in this is taking place in the re phase this is a major this is unfavored this should be your uh, okay this is also the major product if you are taking in this direction it should be minor product sorry this is a typo error okay minor product so what happens here again this bond shifts over here and there is a shifting of uh, this bond and then this uh, this uh, whole moiety gets cleaved out boron moiety and then this bond again shifts over here resulting you in the two products if you will compare this product and this product at that time this will be your major product and then again if you will compare this product and this product at that time this will be your major product that's why we have written it over here major and major product okay and then if you have to show it uh, towards the in general if you will speak about the alpine borane at that time what you have to say is is when the alpine borane is treated with uh, the uh, ketone uh, groups at that time if a uh, rephase is there at that time only the stable uh, configuration with the uh, major product we will result in the rephase if c phase is there at that time you will get the minor product okay that you have to remember in general if i have to speak about moving on to next reaction that is your uh, s binan h it is the structure of uh, two comma uh, two two dihydroxy one comma one biphenyl uh, lithium aluminium hydride so it is a chiral metal hydride complexes so here you can see s configuration is here okay in the opposite side it is showing this marked 
position is there right because of that it is your or s binal h this is the structure of s binal h then for r it is like uh, it for r it is uh, here you have to mark it di uh, little bit dark okay and then here and here so moving on to reaction so what happens in the reaction is you are taking the ketone molecule and then if you treat it with the chiral uh, LaH lithium aluminium hydride in presence of S binal H uh, upon uh, treatment with the ethanol okay alcohol what happens here is again there is a conversion of the ketones to an alcohol reduction so one you will get the major and then minor products and then moving uh, I will show you which is your uh, major and minor with the help of the mechanism so here if you will see if you are taking the uh, s minor h and then if you are treating with the uh, in this direction what happens here is this bond shifts it will take the lithium and then there is first there is a formation of your transition state which is this favored and you are resulting in the minor product okay and then and uh, you have to check whether it is s conformation or uh, s configuration or r configuration depending on that itself it will call it as your major and the minor product and then what happens here is this again this bond shifts and it will make it as a transition state it which is your favored okay here again reface and c phase plays an important role all okay uh, so if it is uh, here it, if it is the reface at that time it is resulting you in the minor fa uh, minor product if it is c phase it is giving you as the major product okay so moving on to next okay Th thank you if you ha have any doubts you can ask me in the comment box in the upcoming mid video i will show you how to differentiate with the flow chart i will show you how to remember which is your ma minor and the major product okay with the certain uh, reactions like uh, r r d i d i o p and all okay thank you if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment box like and subscribe the channel